there friends thanks for checking in today we're looking at a mil spec 1911 this would be considered a bare bones 1911 made by springfield armory on many accounts that i have researched they say that the springfield mil spec 1911 is the closest to the original so we're going to take a look at that today check it out many of the features the, the the basic features have remained the same throughout the years but this does not have all the modern enhancements the forward serrations and night sights i'm seeing even red dots on 1911s browning is rolling in his grave but you know what the purists and the traditionalists say give me this i'll take this 10 times out of 10 because i don't want all that other stuff and that's what we're looking at let's start with the mag seven round mags all right, many of the modern 1911s have eight rounds, even higher. You know, I've got a 10 round mag, single stack. This is a seven round mag. And we look at that grip. It's a wood grip, diamond checkering right there. And the mainspring housing is arched. You seldom see that on a modern 1911, an arched mainspring housing. They're, they're, the, the standard now is flat, you know, flat mainspring housing. And then the front st strap here has no checkering at all. Okay, rather smooth. If we move up to the thumb safety, you can see that it's rather small. That's where the modern ones are a little bit larger, a little more real estate there. But it'll work just fine. You can see my thumb did slip off on that one. And a spurred hammer. Check that out. And we do have an unloaded firearm here. The single action trigger is, I, I think it's nice. You know, it's, I measure it just under five pounds, like four and three quarters pounds. It's a single action trigger. That's what originally drew me to the 1911 and has kept me here for years is that single action trigger pull. It is so nice. I just love it. Just under five pounds. You'll see many of the modern 1911s, you know, three, three and a half, four pounds, maybe a little bit more. But I don't have a problem with that. It's a solid piece. No skeletonized trigger there. And the finish is pretty well parkerized. See that? No no flare, no, no gloss look to it. No Cerakote, that's for sure. <laughs> and then we have fixed sights. This has three dot. I'm pretty sure that it was a black rear sight and a pinned in front sight which would be the original 1911. But I did get some good range time with it. Let's go ahead and roll through some of the footage. We'll take a look at the internals and see what you think of a mil spec, a bare bones 1911 that many people will choose. They'll choose this over all those fancy ones. So let's check out the shooting. Two hundred and thirty grain hollow points. Real tight rear serrations there. When I disassembled, you may have noticed the GI style guide rod. Many 1911s still have that, all right? And one, one of the ways you'll, you'll know is that you won't see a full length guide rod, okay? It's covered by that spring cap right there. But also the beaver tail, it's really not extended. You see a lot of the 1911s now, the beaver tail's extended out to here, nice, nice big, curve angled you know not so much here but the components the the shooting impression for the most part is essentially the same with the mil spec it just doesn't have all those enhancements that people love and 
it's an original or close to an original that other people very much love. It all depends on where you stand. I happen to love many of the modern features, I guess, uh, I, I just like that stuff, you know, like, how can you go wrong with night sights? But, this is the original, and the purist will choose this 10 times out of 10, and I think it's pretty cool, and I definitely enjoyed shooting it at the range. If you like videos like this, please subscribe and share. I always appreciate the thumbs up button. Thanks for watching, and you guys be safe.